In shocking news, the NFL owners have got together today to decide the future of the NFL. Officially, the NFL will be doing a full-on redraft of the entire league. This meaning that all GMs and all coaches will be staying exactly where they are, but the rest of the NFL players um, on teams and free agents and any other players that will enter this pool will be a will be allowed to be drafted by any of the 32 NFL teams. Now, the NFL players will receive a contract based on where they were selected, in what round, what pick, all that, just like a rookie draft. The difference being these contracts will be much bigger and obviously worth a lot more money. But the big thing today is that the NFL felt they were a little too hot top heavy here and they decided to full on overhaul the entire league. And with the sale of the Washington Commanders almost done, the buyers decided to pull out and Dan Snyder was not very happy about this. So I decided to step in and buy the Washington Commanders as they went into a full-on league overhaul with a draft that will define these organizations for decades. And if you don't know how a fantasy draft works, basically every team gets a pick randomly selected, 1 through 32, and then the team that picked at 1 will then pick at 32 the next round, and vice versa, and that just goes on for the entire draft until the end. So... Let's get right into this and let's see what is going down here in this draft. Next. Now we have the 21st selection, which likely means we missed out on a decent amount of quarterbacks. Um, Nick Bosa just went, so... Well, two is still there. Uh, Deshaun Watson's there. Uh, Justin Fields is a guy I really like, but I think we might be able to get him next round. And if we can, I'll wait on a guy like uh, Trey Lance. I feel like he could start for me. Um, but I think right now we're going to go with a defensive lineman and most likely Miles Garrett. Um, I just think defensive line is really the, the big position in this game and in football in general. If you got good D linemen, you're pretty well set. Um, and that's something that the Washington Commanders have found out in the last few seasons. So we're going to stick with that vibe here in Washington with a really good defensive line. Justin Fields is gone. I really thought he was going to be here. I thought I got the 21st pick in the first round. Huh. Okay. Um, well, our quarterback is gone. Do we risk it and wait one more round for a guy like Trey Lance? Um, or do we go ahead and try to get a guy like Aaron Rodgers right now? Because Aaron Rodgers could, could win us a, a Super Bowl. But I don't know if we want to go ahead and, and have to draft a quarterback right away again. Um, but if we go with a guy like Trey Lance, there's a chance we have to do that anyway. So that's a good question. So the real dilemma here is quarterback or any other position. Um, Quinn and Williams looks real good, too. <laughs> I feel like him and Miles Garrett on this defensive line would be nasty. Tristan Wirfs wouldn't be bad. 24, 23-year-old, 92 overall right tackle. Um, I think we're going to go with Quinn in because of the fact that there are so many good quarterbacks left. There's a chance we'll get... At least a Kirk Cousins next round, because at the end of the day, if we're going to have to take a quarterback, I wouldn't hate taking a guy like Kirk. Aaron Rodgers is still there, too. Um, pretty much all the quarterbacks are still there. I think we're going to wait one more round, even. And we're going to really push it this year, this time. Um, a guy like Andrew Thomas would be fire at left tackle. I just feel like taking a left tackle, I know this might sound really dumb, but taking a left tackle so early when there's so many like like game breakers left, I would I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. But again, the positional value is definitely there. Um, but it doesn't I'm gonna look at what's been going on around the league because it doesn't look like many teams have taken the left tackle at all. Oh, you can't even do that. Never mind. Yeah, there's still a lot of really good tackles left. 
Andrew Thomas is certainly the youngest, 23 years old. 93 pass blocking. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to take him because he is he would be our, you know, bookend left tackle for the next decade at least. Um and whether or not we get a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers or Trey Lance, it'll definitely help um whoever we get. And there's still a lot of quarterbacks left. Of course, one of my neighbors is deciding to rev up their big old truck right now. Um, I don't know, man. This is tough because I don't really see a quarterback I'm, like, in love with. You know, if Aaron Rodgers was still there, I'd probably take him. But um, what other position would, be, would we want right here? Mm, Hassan Reddick. He is 27, but, man, him, Miles Garrett. And uh, Quinn and Williams on the same D line, that would be absolutely disgusting. Let's actually look at what's available here on D line, because if we can add another piece of this already beast D line, I will do it. Um, really looks like Hassan Reddick's probably our best bet. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Hassan. I know he's 27, but 90 overall, and he's a he's a beast, man. Like. He's going to change our entire defense, I think, by just that one player. Now we have to take a quarterback. I don't even care, really, at this point. Man, there's just so many good ones left. Oh, wow, Trey Lance is gone. Damn. That sucks. Well, I think with all the middle, middle talent... Um, here, Kirk Cousins wouldn't be horrible. He's only 34, but he's only got normal dev. Um, with all the, like, middle talent, I'm still going to wait on quarterback. It's probably not the smartest thing to do, but oh well. I'm going to look at receiver. It looks like there's not a ton left at receiver, um, and there certainly is not. Chris Olave wouldn't be bad. And it looks like he's, like, really the best young guy available so we're gonna go ahead and take chris olave get whoever we have at quarterback a receiver option early um trent mcduffie just went so we might want to look at corners i think we're gonna go corner here uh Traverius ward wouldn't be bad he does have normal dev um but he is 86 overall he's like 26 i think yeah, I think we're going to take him because we need a CB1. I mean, I, I don't really care about the dev trait too much because he's an 86 overall already. Um, and we're just trying to win, so. Man, Geno Smith, how old is he? 31. I just wish they had a little bit more, you know, arm strength to him. Russell Wilson. I do like a, a rushing or running quarterback. Um, so I like guys like Russell Wilson and Daniel Jones, uh, maybe Brissett even, um, Sam Darnold, Marcus Mariota, Desmond Ritter. I wouldn't hate if I had to take him, uh, because he can do what I want him to do 88 speed. And honestly, he's going to be a guy I'm going to keep my eye on because he might be the guy that I look to be my starting quarterback. And that, that might be insane, but it is, it is what it is, man. I don't really care that much. All I care about is if we win games and hopefully <laughs> He will win us games. I did see Christian Derrissaw is still available, which he could be a pretty good addition here. Put him over at right tackle, and we're going to have uh, two tackles of the future. I think we're going to do that, actually. How old is Deion Dawkins? He can't be super old. 28. Yeah, he's not a lot better than Derrissaw. If he was like 88 overall, I'd take him. But Derrissaw is, I think, 24, 23. Really good run blocker and pass blocker. Take him and put him over at right. There go our bookend tackles. Now the question is, do we really want to wait still on QB? Man, well, I don't think... Shit. And Desmond Ritter's still here. I think we're just going to wait because worst case scenario, we'll get one of these middle guys, you know. Now, the question is, do we want to go defense? Because we are kind of building a, a 
meh offense. Like, our offense isn't really going to be that great. So, do we want to go defense still and just beast it, you know, beef up that beast we got going on? Um, Shaq Leonard wouldn't be a bad addition either. He could play the other outside linebacker spot. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. He's going to be pretty good for us. I don't know, 27, normal dev. We already got an older outside linebacker. And that normal, de normal dev means he's going to um, get worse quicker. Logan Wilson, though. He's more of a middle linebacker in our scheme. But he is the best middle linebacker available. So I think we might take him and then move him over to middle. Um, because he's a beast. I mean, Logan Wilson, 26 years old, star dev, outside linebacker, I'll take it. Because worst case scenario, he can play outside linebacker for us. And uh, I feel like Shaq Leonard will probably still be available a little bit later. And Ritter's still there. I'm just going to keep checking periodically because we're going to try to just build the best team around whatever quarterback we get. Because worst case scenario, I mean, this is going to be a legit, like, realistic I'm playing every game, injuries on, like, it's going to be super realistic, so, I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just draft a quarterback next year. Ooh, Tariq Woolen's sitting right here, six foot four, 98 speed, he's a zone corner, which is what I want anyway, um, I think I'm going to take that, I think I'll do that, because look, now we got two really good corners, and when um, Traverius isn't good anymore, Tariq Woolen will be legit. So, I'm okay with that. Quarterback still, again, I think we can wait a little bit because there's still a few left. I'd be okay with Stafford. I'd be okay with Kirk. I'd be okay with Jacoby. I'd be fine with Sam Darnold, Mariota, or Ritter. Um, and after that, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with the rest of these guys. Running back is a position we could look at. Um, there's not a lot left, though. We do kind of really want a good running back no matter what. Um but in this game, I feel like you can generally make, you know, decent guys look a little better. Um, Donovan Peoples-Jones is a solid pick here. Jahan Dotson wouldn't be bad. We drafted, well, the Commanders drafted him in real life. Um, I think we'll wait one more on, I think we'll go safety. I think we're going to wait on safety too. If Shaq Leonard's still here, I'm going to take him because, man, this defense, holy shit, son. I, good luck, <laughs> realistically, I mean, because now I got dudes that can play inside, outside, you know, rush the passer. They can do pretty much everything. Um, now we're going to probably look at running back or wide receiver, whichever one. Um, I was looking at Damian Pierce, but. There's a decent amount of solid running backs left that I'll wait on that position. Um, Donovan Peoples-Jones is still here, so I think I'm going to grab him. Ah, normal Dev, but he's 23, so I'll take that. I think that's fine. Normal Dev doesn't hurt me too much because there's a chance that I could upgrade that at any point. Um, quarterback. Do we just grab Ritter now? Because I feel like now is when everybody's going to be looking for their backups. And we need a starter. And I really like Ritter's overall, you know, grades. His accuracy isn't amazing, but he's got good throw power and good speed and acceleration. So he would fit well in my offense. Um, I'm going to take him just because I don't want to. I don't want to lose out. There's really nobody else I, that I really think would fit in this offense. And there's a chance, man, that Ritter could do some damage. I feel like if I can at least, you know, if I can play well, I think there's a chance we could do something. Because um, this defense, man, holy shit. We're just going to keep adding here as well. Um, and I think we're going to go with Talanoa Hufunga. Uh, but Darnell Savage might be the pick here because he does have star dev. 93 speed, 84 hit power. Um, I don't know, though, because Talanoa is really good and he's younger. 22, yeah. I'm going to take that. I love Talanoa, honestly. I think he's one of the better safeties in the NFL. Um, and adding him to this already stellar defense is really, really big. Now we're going to go a little bit more offensive line. Because other than tackles, we don't really have anything. Um, and Ben Powers might be our pick here. Um, Terrence Steele, actually. 
he could definitely play inside. It just depends on how old Ben is. I think he's 27, 28. Um, and if that's the case, 26. Oof, but he cannot run block. We need run blockers on the inside. So we're going to go with Terrence Steele. Um, only a year difference, but he, he fits our, our – I think he fits what we do a little bit more. Um, and there's a chance that um, Powers is still available. Now the question is, do we take him and put him at center? I might put him at center. We're going to draft him no matter what because, I mean, we just need offensive linemen. Washington Commanders are now on the but now we only need one more O-lineman so we can wait a little bit on that. Jawan Bentley would not be bad at all. But again, we kind of do need pass rushers at this point anyway. Um, so I think we're going to have to pass on him right now. We just need more of like an interior defensive lineman um, to go along with this defense because we already got got it, went ahead and got out all of our uh, line or uh, defensive. I can't speak right now. We went ahead and got all of our linebackers already, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but we do need another interior guy. But we might wait on that. Um, we could use a little bit more speed at the receiver position. Oh, we need a we need a running back. Okay, so this this is tough because there's actually a couple pretty decent ones left. A.J. Dillon is a guy I wouldn't hate. He's 24 years old, 87 trucking, 88 speed. Um, I do like a little bit more speed. Um, Brian Robinson wouldn't be bad, 89 trucking. He's a little bit younger, and actually he plays for Washington already. Um Ramondre Stevenson. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Brian. If you're going to get a power back, why not get the youngest guy available? I mean, and he's 6'2", 230, basically, so there's a chance. He he could do some damage, too, for getting drafted as late as he did. Um, so now, what do we really need? We need interior D lineman, um, safety, um, linebacker, probably. Uh, Malik Hooker wouldn't be bad here. He's 26 years old. I don't love his speed, though, at free safety. I kind of want it more of a rangy, speedier guy. Um, but there's really not... Derek Forrest, he's a little... Oh, I thought he was older. Okay. And 91 speed, 86 hit power. I think I'm going to take him. I'm pretty sure he plays in Washington already anyway. So we're drafting a lot of guys that uh, we're here to begin with. So I'll definitely take that. QB... Um, this is very enticing because I could take a guy like Stafford right now and have two startable quarterbacks. Um, I just don't love his age, and obviously that's the only reason he's still available. Um, who Jacoby Brissett, I think, is the better fit, too. I'm going to take Jacoby. He's younger. He's a little bit more uh, mobile. And that way, if Desmond Ritter is trash, we got a guy that's actually better than him. Um, but we're just going to give Desmond Ritter the start because, I mean, he's the guy that we drafted to be the guy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, the real question now is receiver. We want speed, of course. Um, but where are we going to go with that? Do we want to go with a younger guy? Do we want to go with an older guy? Um, I would personally like to stay right in the middle. Alec Pierce wouldn't be bad. 22 years old, 6'3". Uh, Good speed. Um, but then again, you got guys like MVS, 95 speed, a little bit older, but a little bit better right now. And that's kind of what we're looking for personally. Uh, Curtis Samuel would be solid. Um, you know, with the receivers that we already have, I think Curtis Samuel is the perfect fit here. And then we'll probably go with a guy like Alec Pierce a little bit later. Just because I like I like his potential. He's like I said, six four. He's got good speed. Um, so he's a guy you definitely would wouldn't be mad at. Um, so now let's look at interior D lineman again, and this is pretty much where we're gonna have to take a little bit of a reach. Zach Seiler actually wouldn't be bad. He's only twenty six years old. Um, obviously not much of a pass rusher, but that's totally fine with me. He fits our need, he fits the spot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with Zach Seiler. 
And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the defense we are building right now is absolutely ridiculous, okay? Like, this is just insane. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and go with another running back, I think, because we do need a little bit more speed out of the backfield. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go, though. Kenneth Gainwell wouldn't be bad. 23 years old. He's got good receiving chops, I think, as well. Solid trucking. It's not bad at all. Um, Cordero Patterson, though, that could make a lot of sense. I think we're going to wait, though, uh, because there's a lot of guys that you can get a little bit later that'll fit that mold. Uh, I think we're going to go after our last offensive lineman real quick. Um, Connor Williams, I think, is a guy that's the easy pick here. He can play literally any position from left tackle to right tackle. Um, he'll probably play guard for us because I do think I'll end up putting Ben Powers at center. But we'll see how it shakes out. We got two quarterbacks and we got a D rating. I don't know. I think we got one of the better quarterback rooms. Um, maybe not one of the better starters, but I mean, in terms of um, our backup, we got the best backup in the league, Jacoby Brissett, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but we need to go with defensive lineman again here and specifically interior, like defensive tackle. And we're going to go with Chris Warmly. Just fits the need for speed. Uh, definitely not the need for speed here because that dude is not fast. Commanders. But we're going to go ahead and go there. Um, and actually, we need another corner as well. Um, Cam Sutton, Emmanuel Mosley, both Lions, as you all see here. Um, I'm a big Lions fan. Deron Bland wouldn't be bad, 23 years old. Zone cover corner specific. Uh, but that's another position where we could get Deron Bland now. And then draft an older guy that'll start uh, later. And I think that's what we're going to do. Might as well. Because I think we can get a guy like Chris Harris a little bit later. And he can still start for sure. Um, we're going to go at linebacker though. Because we do need another middle linebacker. Uh, Landon Collins might be the guy. Because we do need a guy that can play... Um, nickel as well but we probably will end up drafting another one right here because we do need um like a more of a three four inside linebacker and i think that's what anthony hitchens is going to be for us uh six foot 235 he's got solid speed but he's a run stopper to to start 89 tackle 87 hit power yeah welcome to the washington commanders anthony hitchens and as the owner of the commanders i do think i'm going to relocate them somewhere else but i'm not exactly sure about that we'll see how that goes after the draft um but yeah we'll see so i think we're gonna go with another Ooh, actually let's look at tight end we haven't looked at tight ends at all yet and there's nothing really jelani woods wouldn't be bad i think um but at that same rate we could just draft another receiver and put him there um if we were gonna do that Running back is pretty barren now. I did not expect that. But we're going to go with Jarek McKinnon. I feel like he's a great fit here. He's 30 years old, so he's quite older than what you'd want at running back. But I'm fine with that. I'm not really I'm not really too worried about the age there. Um, that's a position where, you know, you can kind of cycle in guys every year a little bit later in the draft, and it won't really be a big deal. Brandon Jones, though, I'm going to draft him. He's only 24 years old. He's not going to start for us at all, but he could play nickel for us for sure. Um, and like I said before, drafting Deron Bland, I'm not sure I want him to start necessarily. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, I think we're going to go with another interior D lineman here. We're going to go with Sue. Get Sue in, in Washington. Next up, I'm telling you right now, we're building a Super Bowl team. Other than the quarterback, we're building a Super Bowl defense. So, I'm... If the quarterback sucks, then we're going to suck. But if they can at least be okay, we can win some freaking games. I'll tell you that right now. Like, I am not at all worried about that. Um, now the question is, is Jelani Wood still available? No, he is not, of course. So I think at that rate, what we'll do is draft a receiver, like I said before, sort by age, and then we'll look by um, the height. We want at least 6'3", but we want at least 220 as well. Um, 6'4", 222, 6'6", 222. I'm going to take Colin Johnson and move him over to tight end. 
because I just feel like he's going to be a little bit better fit. On the clock, the Washington Commanders. But we are going to draft a real tight end later because we need two. Um, receiver. This is where we could actually look for another receiver. Uh, Sammy Watkins wouldn't be bad, I don't think. Yeah, we'll take him. With the next selection, and it's the I'm only going to do a few more rounds, probably to round 35 or so, and then sim the rest just because you don't necessarily have to, you know, draft every single player. Um, but once that's over, we're going to go ahead and look at the whole NFL and see where guys like Patrick Mahomes ended up um, and just kind of get a gauge of who's going to be the better players in the league as we or better teams in the league, I should say, as we go on. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun to keep track of uh, what's going on around us. But we're going to want to get a younger running back in here as well. Uh, not a lot here. Trey Sermon wouldn't be terrible, I don't think. I know he wasn't great in real life. Um, 86 speed is not good, though. I think we'll pass right now. And actually, what we might do is take a fullback, because I do love Reggie Gilliam. But I think we'll wait on that for now, because Kari Blassingame can do the same thing. Um, just like another really big running back that can also block is, is always nice to have. Um, but let's look at tight end real quick, just to kind of see if there's anybody that we, we want to draft now. What we really want is a better run blocker. Um, so I think we might go with Mercedes Lewis here, but Max Williams, I think is a solid run blocker as well. And he's a little bit younger. Yeah. We're gonna go with Max. I just feel like he fits us, our, our team the pretty Washington well. Um, and it just makes sense for clock. us at this point. And then draft another linebacker, whether it be inside or outside. Uh, probably going to go with Tay Crowder, depending on his age. 25 years old isn't bad. Thought he'd have better speed than that, though. I want a guy that can play both in and out, so I think I'll probably end up going with uh, Jalen Smith. He's a guy that can play everything and in terms Next of linebacker. Up, the commanders are on the clock. And let's get our uh, trying to decide. Let's go kicker and punter, and then we will get our fullback and get out of here. Now on the clock, the Washington Commanders. And actually, we're going to grab Chris Harris as well. I'm going to get Kyle Juszczyk. With the next selection, just because, I mean, that's the best fullback the in the game. Commanders. You might as well take him. And actually, we're going to take Reggie as well. And then that way, we don't really have to get another running back. And he's 25 with Star Dev. Yeah, I'll take that. The Washington Commanders are now on the clock. And then we're going to draft our punter and sim the rest of this. Well... I lied. We're going to draft our punter, and then <laughs> we're going to draft Chris Harris Jr., Next and then up, send the rest. The commanders are on the clock. Now on the clock, All right, the so Washington we will commanders. see you after the break. I went ahead and took the liberty of skipping the preseason and going ahead and just getting you to the fun stuff. So first things first, let's take a look at the NFL as a whole and just take a look at the like top couple players, see where they landed, um, just kind of see you know what the scape of the NFL is looking like um, after the draft. So of course, Miles Garrett, Aaron Donald to the Eagles, Kelsey to the Chargers, Ooh, Mahomes to the Browns. Okay. That's pretty wild. Let's take a look at where the quarterbacks ended up. Joe Burrow to the Raiders. Josh Allen to the Rams. Lamar to the Bills. Okay. Texans got Brady. A lot has changed in the NFL. That's for sure. So the Patriots took Kirk Cousins, but they didn't take him until super late. So I'm interested to see really what their quarterback room looks like. Kirk Cousins and Sam Howell. I guess that makes sense. They just kind of waited like we did um, and just took Kirk when they felt there was no uh, other choice. But 
We will also obviously go through every team's depth chart as we play them. So I don't want to spend too much time looking at where every single player ended up. But I just figured it would be cool to take a look at, you know, how the NFL draft or the NFL redraft kind of went. And to look at our roster, we have Jacoby Brissett and Desmond Ritter at quarterback. Desmond is going to be our starter because he just fits a little bit better um, into our offense. But Jacoby Brissett will be the backup. And the reason we took him is, like I mentioned before, he's the best backup in the NFL. I mean, if Desmond Ritter sucks, you've got a guy that can at least get the job done. Um, you know what you got when you got Jacoby on the field. But Desmond Ritter's a little bit of a wild card, and I think we could get something out of him. Um, and then Brian Robinson, Jarek McKinnon, Latavius Murray uh, at running back, and Kyle Juszczyk, uh, Kyle Juszczyk um, at fullback along with Reggie Gilliam, which likely means Latavius Murray won't be making this roster, um, but we'll see how it shakes out. Receiver room is kind of weak. Um, it's not horrible by any means, but it is kind of weak. We don't really have much depth or speed. So I think we're going to look in the free agency to really get a little bit more speed in the back end here. Um, and then tight end is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I'm definitely not as worried uh, at the, with that position as I was. Offensive line is a clear, clear um, positive for this team. Um, our depth is really good as well. I'm not really too worried about that at all. D-line, same thing. Depth is really good. Starters are really, really good. Um, and I'm not really too worried. We do have injuries on. So that's something to keep in mind as we go through this. Um, and that's also something to keep in mind. You know, that's why I drafted us in a certain way. Um, so we'll see how that works out as we go. But our freaking defense, oh my gosh, look at this. We got Zach Seiler, Chris Wormley, Miles Garrett, Quinnen Williams, and Dominican Sue, Hassan Reddick, uh, Logan Wilson, Anthony Hitchens, Shaquille Leonard. Then we got Charvarius Ward, Tariq Willen, Chris Harris Jr., Deron Bland, you know, Derek Forrest, and Telenoa Hufunga with Brandon Jones. Like, this defense is a beast. Really, the only thing we're missing is a nickel corner. I mean, and that's not really a huge need. It's just we could definitely be better there. Um, but I'm, I'm really not mad at this at all. Uh, very, very good team overall. Really our only only big hole is quarterback. And then after that, we could use a better running back in a few other positions. But with that being said, free agency is here in terms of like in-season free agency. Um, and Devin McCourty is available. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and scoop him up just because, like I said before, we need a nickel corner and that's exactly what he is. Um, Robert Quinn, oh my gosh. I feel like we can't get both because that would just be, you know, kind of cheating um, to get the two top non-punters uh, on your team. Um, but Danny, okay, Danny Gray would make some sense. We need some speed. He's young at receiver. I'll take that. That was an accident, but I'll take it anyway. Um, let's just kind of look through all these positions and see if there's anybody that we're interested in. If anything, we are looking for a quarterback with some speed. Yeah, we don't have that available, um, of course. Boston Scott wouldn't be bad. I think I would rather have him over Latavius Murray um, because he's a little bit different um, in terms of play style. And then receiver, T.Y. Hilton. Okay, this T.Y. Hilton wouldn't be bad. Um, the question is, I just don't think he would get enough play time to want to come here. But a guy like Marquise Goodwin, uh, Jakeem Grant, Demir Bird. Um, hmm. Which one can return better? Because whoever I sign here is going to be my kick returner, most likely. Uh, Jakeem Grant is the clear winner there, so we're going to go ahead and sign him. He's got really good speed as well, so speed's what we were looking for, and now we get a kick returner out of it, too. Uh, tight end, really nothing. Uh, offensive line, I think we're good, really, at... Starter and depth, we really don't need anything anywhere. Um, defensive tackle, we could use some more depth. And I think Henry Anderson would be a perfect fit for our third D tackle because uh, he can play, you know, from a five to a one tech probably and maybe even a little bit of nose. Um, and then Brent Urban, oh, I love him. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and sign him because he, he can do the same thing. Um, but he's six seven three ten. I just think having a, such a big dude is a positive no matter what. 
Um, and we do need outside linebacker, and I think I think we're gonna sign Kruger Hill to do that. <clears throat> Then corner, I know we did just sign um, a new nickel, but you can never go with too many corners, uh, at least too many good ones, at least. <laughs> so I think we're good. I think we're good at it, pretty much every position now. Um, and we are going to move, uh, I can't, I'm blanking his name for some reason right now. We're going to move uh, McCordy to corner. And then that way he's not taking a spot on the safety chart uh, because he's not going to play safety for us. He is going to only play nickel corner uh, because that's what we signed him for. And he's our second best corner, so that works out perfect. And honestly, he might play second corner and nickel. Um, I do love Tariq Wollen, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. I moved him over to the wrong place. Oh, well. Okay. So with our team pretty much ready to go, um, I actually do think we're going to sign a third QB because that third QB at 52 overall is not going to cut it. If one of our guys ends up going down, we do not have another backup. Um, Joe Flacco is kind of the clear guy for me here. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Joe Flacco to be our third QB. He's a good, solid vet, can teach our guys. All right, so we got to cut 21 players, and that is a lot. So let's get it started. We're going to go backwards. See what we need to get rid of. Um... Save some cap space. And honestly, we got just the right amount of corners that we can keep both Chris Harris and, uh, I keep forgetting his name, Devin McCourty. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Devin Hester. He was clearly a receiver. Um, man, I am really, 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 really happy with this defense that we built here. Um, this is going to be an amazing defense, I really hope. I hope it plays as good as it looks on paper because holy crap if it does. We're going to be the best defense in the NFL by far. I mean, we don't really have any positions where we're lacking at all, whether it be depth or starter. I mean, realistically. I'm going to try to keep Juergens. Uh, so we're going to get rid of both of our left guards because I really like Juergens. I think he... Uh, He's a guy that you need to keep on your team, but Justin Britt is obviously going to be the starter at center if anybody gets hurt, and he can also move over to left uh, guard, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Saubert, we're going to cut him, and Parkinson, move him to practice squad. Um, Sammy Watkins or Josh Gordon, we're going to go with Josh just because we don't have too many big body guys. Um Then we're going to cut Tyrell Williams as well. Keep Danny Gray. He's the speedy guy that we really need, um, along with Jakeem Grant. But he's young, and we don't really have too many young options in the, uh, in the receiver room. We're going to add him to the practice squad. Why not? So we've got to make a few more cuts. Uh, Latavius Murray is definitely getting cut. We've got to make one more cut, and that's clearly going to be Shane Bucelli, Bucale. Uh, whatever the hell, I don't know how to pronounce that, but <laughs> get that fourth quarterback off the team and then go ahead and do this depth chart. And then we will see you at the beginning. Well, I of the somehow season. forgot to mention the fact that I went ahead and updated or redid the staff as well. Uh, Ron Rivera is out in Washington. Um, I don't hate him. I like him as a person, but I just think we needed to go a different direction um, with how I built this team. I just feel we need more of an offensive guy, like a quarterback guru um, in the room. So we went with, went with Emmanuel Ortega at head coach. Obviously, these are fake people. 
Um, <laughs> we went with Emmanuel Ortega at head coach. Um, he's coached in the college ranks for many years. Um, I think he's clearly a um, offensive guru. Liken him to this, the type of like Lincoln Riley, uh, that kind of mold uh, from college. Brian Warner, uh, we got an offensive coordinator, Kurt Warner's son. This isn't real, obviously. Um, Kurt Warner's son, we went ahead and signed him because we need a guy that can really, really bring along the quarterbacks. And Scott Anderson, defensive coordinator, he was an assistant for the Rams for a long time um, as a defensive backs coach, and now we bring him in to be our defensive coordinator. Um, young guys, everybody's under the age of 40. Um, Emmanuel Ortega is the oldest at 38. Brian Warner's the youngest at 32, and Scott Henderson's right in the middle at 34. So we've got a new staff. We've got new schemes going. We've got depth charts set up. We've got the formation sub set up. So let's get right into week one. And as the owner of the Washington Commanders, I am well aware that our stadium is absolute trash. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild the stadium. Um, just completely redo it. I, I Like I said, I'm very aware that it sucks as is. Um, and before we go ahead and play this game, we're going to take a look at what the Jacksonville Jaguars roster looks like after the the you know redraft shakeup that we had so at quarterback justin herbert they've got a superstar there aaron jones at running back very good as well amon ross st brown michael gallup mvs josh reynolds really good offense so far dalton schultz as well colton miller at left tackle joe thuney robert hainsey isaac sumalo rob havenstein so they have a very very good offense like wow this offense is really really good So clearly their offense is really good. Um, their defense, though, obviously isn't as good, but they don't have many weaknesses either. Um, linebackers are really good. D-line's pretty solid. Um, corners are pretty solid as well. Safeties are good. I think I could exploit their safeties. So hopefully today Desmond Ritter can throw the ball deep because that's kind of what we're going to be going for. So this week, you know, obviously we said they have Justin Herbert, so we're really going to try to contain him. Um, we're going to try to stop the short passing first, and if that doesn't work, then we'll try to stop the deep. Oh, shit. Stink bugs, huh? <laughs> that boy was flying at me. So we got a... Uh, offensively, we're going to try to run the ball, um, but let's go with throw at medium because I think that's where we'll be best off against this defense. I know we don't have the best quarterback by any means, but like I said before, I think Desmond Ritter can do some things well. So we're here in Washington. We've got a brand new team, brand new staff. We've got a brand new NFL. <laughs> and while we're at it, well, we already know what we've got. Let's just jump right into this game. And like I said before, we're playing every single snap. We're not taking that out at all, thanks. So, Desmond Ritter is our quarterback starting off. Um, like I said before, there's always a chance Jacoby Brissett will step in at any time. It just depends on how we feel. If we feel, you know, Desmond Ritter's not getting it done, then we'll move on. Give that off to Olave. I'll take, I'll take it, it's all right. They want us to run a lot of Debo package right now. I'm not really sure if that's what I'm looking to do, but that's what we're going to do right now, I guess. Olave's open. Oh, that's DPJ. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's get the run game going a little bit here. Jarek McKinnon is our running back. For our first rush of the day. Oh, I should have let that. I should have kept going outside. That's all right. Let's go now. That's just quite all right. We're just going to run Samuel on a crosser. Keep Robinson in here. Yep, Samuel. Bang. That's all we wanted. A couple yards, get it to third and short. Now, the big thing is we really hope... Um, our interior off offensive line can make a push here. There we go. More than a push, baby. 
More than a push, baby. Man, if Brian Robinson had real speed, that would be a touchdown. Damn. Hey, I'll take it, though. 40 yards on one play. And we actually decided to uh, keep Ben Powers at left guard and keep... Uh, um, why am I forgetting his name? Connor Williams at center. Hand that bad boy off. That's a tutty. Well, first drive went well. Hopefully the defense can do the same. That right here is why I drafted Daniel Carlson. Because he can slow the kick meter down. And, I mean, that's really all you can ask for from a kicker in Madden. Any type of help's good help when it comes to kicking the ball because I'm not the best at it. I'm, I mean, I don't suck necessarily, but I miss some kicks. So, have that kick meter slow down a little bit definitely helps. Now, defensively, we already know their offense is really, really good. So, this could be a, a legit shootout if uh, the, the defense lets them score as fast as we just scored on them. But we also know that our defense is the, uh, it's like, oh shit. Intercepted, baby! Hassan Reddick, pick six, first play of the game defensively. The defense is our strength, is what I was going to say before they snapped the ball. But that's a tutty for the duddy. Let's go. Defensive touchdown. Offensive touchdown. Cannot get better than that. Whoops. And it's Hassan Reddick. So that works out even better for us because Hassan Reddick was a guy that we uh, kind of reached on being 27 years old. But pick six in his first play. Now all we got to do is hold on. And our, our defensive line in general, but our defense all around is really good. Like, it's it's insanely good. Now, we're in nickel, so we're worried about them running the ball. Here we go. There we go. One yard. That's fine. Third and three, though, we're going to go back into three, four, just because they, they're going to want to run the ball most likely. I'll play as Hitchens because he's the least athletic guy. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Defense is playing lockup. Offense has played really well so far. See what they can do on it on the uh, second. Oh, block punt! Block punt! Oh, I don't know why he's fun, but I'll take it. Block punt, baby. We are we are winning on literally every single level of the football field right now. Oh, I should have kept that. That's just me being afraid to run with Ritter because you never know. Those uh, really low overall quarterbacks generally don't have the best carrying. Um, so that's that can be a big issue. I'll take that though all day. Come on, Colin. Damn. Couldn't get in the end zone, but I'm definitely not mad at it. QB draw, maybe? QB draw. Oh, there's a flag offsides. Most likely. Offside. Offsides. I'll take it. I'll take that. That's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Double 38. Got him. Tutty. We got a 21 point lead so far, and it's still the first quarter, folks. Don't get too ahead of yourself, but looking like we're starting off 1-0. Madden likes to switch it up, though, halfway through the game, so we'll see what happens for the rest of this. But I literally could not have asked for a better start to this game. First drive on offense, great uh, drive from both the quarterback, offensive line, running back, receivers, everybody did great. Defensively, first play was a pick six, literally could not ask for more. Then we punt. We made him punt, blocked it, and then the next two plays, I believe, or three plays is a touchdown. I'll take it every single day of the week. Another one. Another one. Bro, why are they playing with me? 
Why are they playing with me, bro? 28-0 right now, folks. This is wild. First game of the year at home. 28-0 in the first quarter. I would, I would hate to be the uh, Jaguars right now. This is insane. I really did not see this coming at all, man. Like, this this is legit wild. 28-0. to zero. And their, def their offense is really good. So, Justin Herbert's just been shit today. I mean, I know our defense is great, but damn. A couple yards there. We're just going to stay in 3-4 until they beat us out of it because this is what's working right now. And really what we're worried about is them running the ball right now because of the fact that Herbert's played so bad and almost sacked him again there. Honestly, it's just because our defensive line is so ridiculously good. We have so many pass rushers, interior and um, on the edge. Come on, Devin. Oh, what was that? I don't know why he stopped. Or he did well not why he stopped, but he kept coming forward. I just wanted to stand in front of him. And he just kept coming in front of him. Come on. There we go, baby. Well, I think they're gonna score on this drive. So that's something for him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wanna win, but I don't wanna get a just fifty six nothing game. That's being that'd just be boring. I mean I wanna have something going on. Especially with injuries, it's like, at this rate, I might as well start subbing dudes out, you know? I guess that would be nice to be able to sit some people so that we don't have to worry about injuries. There's a touchdown. Like I said, touchdown is pretty much inevitable in this drive. Oh, we got to receive it, I guess. Good thing we got Jakeem Grant. Come on, baby. Get out of my way, son. Come on, baby. Jakeem Grant. Like I said, good thing I got Jakeem Grant on my squad. And we're playing on all Madden. This is all Madden. I am not lying to y'all right now. Look at this. Look at this. All Madden, folks. All Madden competitive. I don't play on nothing else. Look at this shit. This is ridiculous. Okay, ready? Like I said, good thing I got Jakeem Grant on my team because damn, son. Get it down to the 32. We are beating them up on literally every single part of this team. Offense, defense, special teams, we're killing them. Killing them. And I'll tell you what, Desmond Ritter, he has been much better than I ever thought he would be. Oh, see, I should have... I should have gave that one, but... That's all right. I wanted to keep that one that time just because I haven't uh, I haven't run it much with Ritter, with Ritter yet today. Come on, baby. Damn, Curtis. Couldn't get to the end zone. But Desmond Ritter is 6 for 6 for 75 yards so far. Third and four. Mm, third and four. We're going to have him run a, run a shorter route. Give it to the running back. Trucking down to the one, fourth and one here. I think we're going to go for it, but we're just going to go uh, at least take a look at it. Maybe not go for it for sure, but depending on the look that we get. I don't love this personally, but if we're being real right now, it is 28 to 7. So, even if we don't get it, it's not like a big deal. Got it. Didn't matter. Didn't even matter. I think we're going to start thinking about sitting guys now. Thirty-five to seven now. I don't know how this game could have went any better, honestly. Blocked a punt, two pick sixes. We've got a sack already. Uh, two offensive touchdowns, a great kickoff return. 
Almost returned it for a touchdown. Probably should have returned it for a touchdown. But it is what it is. I mean, he got us down to the 30, and then we scored a touchdown on fourth and one. So it ended up working, but literally have scored on every single possible possession. Intercept it, baby! Sarvarius Ward. You're a demon. You're a demon. God damn. God damn. This defense is ridiculous, bro. I'll take two yards, I guess. I'll take two yards on first down. You know, this offense has worked out way better than I thought it would, too, because this defense is actually pretty solid. But Desmond Ritter, as as I say, he's been really good. He misses one. That's I mean, he's a 69 overall. What do you expect? He's not going to be perfect. But thus far, he's been amazing. Bam, again, another one. You miss one every once in a while, but 9 for 10, 104 yards and two tutties. Against a really good team, you literally cannot ask for more. But like I said, we might start thinking about putting in backups here soon. There we go. There we go. Like I said before, we have been the better team on literally every facet of this fucking football field. It's, this is insane. Ready? There we go. Oh! Damn. That was a bad drop. Bad drop there. Get Olave on a crossing route. Leave everybody else with what they got. Come on, Olave. There we go. There we go, baby. We're not going hurry up. We're just gonna chill. I just want to. I just want to see what Desmond Ritter can do. Really, at this point, make sure he can make the right reads, make the right throws. And we're still not gonna go hurry up. We just don't want him to get the ball back on offense. But just because of how good their offense is, there's potential that uh, they go down the field and score. So we're just gonna keep the ball and. Try to score again. Colin Johnson, 42 points in the first half. This is insane, bro. Insane, bro. I can't, I don't even got words for this right now. 42 to seven with a minute left in the first half. Man, I don't know. I don't know if this can be replicated, to be honest with you. Like, this is ridiculous. Three picks, two pick sixes, punt blocked. Like, every single thing we have done has been absolutely perfect today. Big hit. There we go. See? They got a yard. Come on, defense. Stay stacked. There we go. Keep him in bounds. That's all I really wanted was to keep him in. Now we really want to pressure the quarterback, so I'm going to slant him all to the right side and try to get one-on-ones with my best players. Let's go, baby. We're going to take a timeout because they're going to punt us the ball. We got 45 seconds. We could add to this lead, bro. I'm not... I'm trying to put as much distance between me and them by, by halftime right now. Yeah, I'm gonna let Jakeem take this one. That's all right. It's better than it, what it could have been at the two. Ready. And we're probably just gonna run this ball out, honestly. Unless we get a big play on this down, we're just gonna keep, yeah. Yeah. We'll take it to halftime. The last thing I really want to do is throw an interception. 
and uh, let them get back get back into the game a little bit, switch the momentum a little bit, you know. I'm just trying to get some quick stuff here. Get something quick, get to halftime, add a little bit more to Ritter's stat line. Bars. Straight bars. All right, so... We're going we're gonna to try to run the ball more this half and defend the deep pass. I guess that's what's been beating us so far. I mean, 42-7, to seven, like I said, it might be time to start taking some people out. But we'll see. What happened is you got beat the hell up, son. That's what happened. We just smashed them in that first half. Damn. All right. We just got to lock up here. Yep. There we go. Oh, damn. Miles Garrett's there, though. We clean it up. Negative five yards. No big deal. We're going to run a blitz here, I think. Uh, no. We're going to get out of that just because the, the uh, formation that they're in seems like a passing formation and we don't want to have... We don't want to be caught in a 3-4 blitz against that because that's pretty much a an easy touchdown. Yeah. I don't know what Talanoa is doing. I want you to cover the outside, bro. Like... I don't know how many times I got to say this shit, realistically. Yeah. Another one. Oh, wow. I don't know how he caught that. That should have been an easy pick. <clears throat> They're going empty now, so I'm glad I went with the nickel set. Oh, I almost got that one, too. Traverius Ward has been a beast today. You cannot throw the ball his way at all. Bars. Again, we're going to slant to the right side because that's where I think their weakness is along the offensive line. Try to get some one-on-ones. Got him. We're gonna go straight up middle. Got him. Fourth down. Probably just gonna kick the field goal. Get a little bit of points at least. I think I'll start subbing in the fourth quarter. Curtis Samuel, he has been such a beast for us today. Desmond Ritter only two uh, incompletions on the game. Run game's been great as well. And honestly, you can probably attribute everything I just said to the offensive line. Samuel, another one. But the O-line's been amazing. I don't feel like I've been really under pressure at all at the quarterback position. They've been run blocking pretty well. Um, not too many, you know, blown up plays or anything like that. And a lot of big runs. A lot of big runs. I mean, shit, he had a 40-yard run as the first run of the day. Oh, good job. Ritter barely got the ball off, but I'll take that. That wasn't bad. Honestly, he's lucky we got the ball off. Bam. What a dot. 
That's why I drafted him. You see it now? Does it make more sense? I know he's not going to be the best quarterback of all time or anything, but shit. If we want to, we could always draft another one. And then we don't even have to worry about it, really. Come on, Ritter. Damn. I knew if I didn't get him, like, his shoulder open a little bit more, he wasn't going to be able to make that, and it was going to get th turn a turnover anyway. So I'll take get thrown out of the sack on that every time. There we go. There we go. We're going to send Colin Johnson on a go. Williams on a, on a crosser. Olave on that, on that corner route still. Bam. Samuel. Beast. That's why we drafted him. Perfect, perfect fit for this team, man. Like, honestly, it could not have gotten any better. Oh, I tried to cut that boy back, but... Yeah, nothing, nothing, uh... Nothing good going for us on that one. Oh, I... That's on me. I, I fucked that one up. Damn. I was hoping that Ritter was going to have a perfect game, but that's that's tough. That's tough. As soon as I threw it, I was like, damn, should not have thrown that ball. There we go. And honestly, a lot of the guys that I drafted for this team, I drafted because they're big and huge hitters, but got a lot of speed. I focused on speed and hit power on defense, just in general. You know, obviously I drafted other guys because they're just really good at what they do, but that was that was kind of the, the idea going for it. Damn. <coughs> <coughs> well, that was not good. That is not what you want. That's just way too much time in the pocket, bro. Defense is kind of getting picked apart now, but that's okay. It's 42 to 10. I mean, you can't expect them to play perfect all game. There's, they'd have to do a lot to get back into this game. Saw that coming. That's a first down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go three, four, and we're gonna throw some. We're gonna throw some blitzes at him now. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yeah, this game is definitely over. Got him. Got him. You see how I did that? I put the linebacker in position, rushed with the D tackle. And then he threw it right to the dude that I put in, in position. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Yeah, boy. We haven't scored any points in the second half, but I'll, I'm fine with that. We certainly didn't need to. That's a first down, right? First down, baby. Let's go. It doesn't have to be by much. This, we're going to have to get off quick. Oh. Damn. Run the ball, boy. So all we need to do is run the ball now. 
Check you. Blue striker. Check. I mean, we do want a first down, so we are going to throw it here, but. Oh, Desmond. That's on me for thinking he's better than 69 overall. He's played really well today, but he's still a 69 overall. You can't run, you can't throw like that with him. You just can't do it, unfortunately for me. So Desmond Ritter ends the game with two picks, but he played very, very well all game. So, I mean, I'm not going to hold those against him by any means. And the fact that both picks were while we were up by 42 points definitely helps that. So as long as we can keep that, that uh, turnover to touchdown ratio down, we'll be just fine with Desmond. Because he's shown today he can he can definitely be our quarterback. Ready? Get one more play and then we're out of here. And Robinson had a great game. Ritter had a really good game as well. Uh, Curtis Samuel had a great game. Uh, everybody, just defensively, offensively, literally everyone played really well today. So really couldn't have asked for more from, from anyone. Special teamers, too. They played great. So, big win for first week of the year. Let's take a look at these stats. Ritter, 75% completions with two interceptions. So, great game. 223 touchdowns. Robinson, 13 for 93. Seven yards per carry and a touchdown. Um... Curtis Samuel, 9 for 62 and two tutties. Chris Olave, 6 for 76. Um, DPJ, 3 for 52. Uh, Colin Johnson had a touchdown. No sacks allowed. Uh, safety led. We didn't really have any sacks. At, we didn't have any sacks, but we had, what, three tut? Yeah, three picks. No, four picks. Uh, and a fumble. So... You love to see it, but that's going to be it for this one. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the channel so y'all don't miss a video, and we will see y'all on the next one.